So now you've learned about why collecting data is important and what kind of data you might want to obtain. But an additional important consideration is what goal you're trying to achieve with your data. So let's take a moment to talk about how to prioritize and strategize your approach to collecting data. First by asking, what do you want to measure and why? As you saw when we discussed each of our COOP data categories, considering audience is really important when deciding what data to collect and how to communicate it. Who are you trying to reach? You also want to consider what data will most effectively communicate the values of your program and move things forward. So what will resonate most with administrators, with faculty? The data that's easiest to collect will not necessarily be the most important for your program. For example, sending out a perception survey might be the easiest strategy for getting some data, but maybe for your particular program goals, your time would be better spent getting student achievement outcomes data instead, even if it is a little more difficult. So take a moment now, think back to that OER crush activity you did in Will's video last month. Who was your OER crush? You may also choose for this activity to go back to module four in the discussion and use the institution that you posted about there. So spend some time exploring to see if you can find any public facing data on the website of your OER crush. It could be data that the institution or organization obtained itself, or it could be data that they're highlighting from external research. Based on what you find, can you determine what the values of that program are? Do they mostly highlight cost related data or outcomes related data? Do they feature data related to faculty, students, or staff? Who do you think their intended audience is? Administrators, faculty, maybe folks like you at other institutions? Or is the data meant to be useful for themselves internally in their own efforts to assess their program? Or is there no data to be found at all? To give you a sense of what we mean, here is a quick example. I'm going to use American University because instructional designer David Rose, who works there, actually developed this activity in last year's certification. I really love the OER program at American University, and the work they've done there is amazing. You can see they've done an incredible job of displaying it on their website as well. They put student cost savings front and center, and they use data also that emphasizes the reach of their program's impact. The audience could be administrators, students, anyone who's concerned about higher education costs. The values communicated here have to do with the impacts of affordability and not as much about the benefits of open like flexibility and the affordances of open pedagogy. But this is the focus that this institution decided was most important. Before you move on to the next video, just take a moment to visit this Padlet and share your own reflections on your OER crush. And the link should also be in the description of this video. Tell us what you think their priorities and intended audiences are based on their public facing data. And please feel free to comment on other people's reflections to share your own impressions as well.